hello collective welcome back to the platform thank you for watching as always oh i should say welcome to the ascended divination priestess channel thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always please uh, remember to stay only in the highest of vibrational energy uh, and only in the purest of white light. Ooh. So I'm not going to read all of these. Okay. Well, okay. I'll read this at the start and then I'll read the rest of this at the end. Okay. Okay, folks. <laughs> uh, let's see. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white lights. Um, whatever the enemy has stolen from you is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Our opening angel number is 19, which sums down to 10. It's the completion of a cycle, okay? It's that independence and self-sufficiency uh, self are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. I am a pioneer. Amen to that. So let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on out here um, in this tarot reading today. Hopefully we're not going to have another karmic reading, but with the source showing up out here, <laughs> we have to be absolutely mindful. Um, so here we go. We have the uh, picture source out here. You have someone that may be watching you. Someone may want to work with you. Uh, someone may have been trying to communicate with you as well, give you some type of opportunity. They may be a little hesitant because maybe they're reaching out to you and you are not responding. This person may not know that you're not receiving the messages that they're sending you, something of that nature. But you absolutely have someone that is watching you. Someone may be heartbroken because they're trying to get in contact with you, but you're not responding. And I think this person does not realize that it's not on purpose. You're not choosing not to respond. You're just not receiving communication, okay? So someone may be going through some type of ending or this is a plot. Someone may be trying to bring some problems to a king of wands as well, or there could be a king of wands going through some type of heartbreak. Um, and this has to do with the fact that he may be extending an olive branch to you, but the fact that you are not responding makes him feel like you are rejecting him or something of that nature. Maybe this is something that's divinely orchestrated where spirit maybe does not want you responding to this person. Maybe because whatever offer they're trying to make to you is not genuine. It's something that's supposed to um, trap you, keep you stuck, block you from moving forward. Someone thinks that if they come in and give you an offer, you're going to accept it. And this is like a plot some type of plot to secure you um but securing you may mean that someone is going to be controlling a very large aspect of your life and this is not something that is really uh, um that's not, this is not something that correlates with your energy if you are showing up in this page of source energy this means that you are someone that's quite lively and free to be so being confined with someone is not the ideal situation for you you're someone that's meant to be free like a butterfly out into the world, experiencing different things, learning new things, experiencing cultural things of their nature, right? Um, so whatever this person is trying to do is just not something that resonates with you. If someone is coming in to give you an offer, it should be something that's genuine, not something that's going to keep you in anxiety maybe you maybe you're kind of alarmed about this person or maybe this person kind of perks your antenna when they come around because you don't quite understand what their true intentions are um and it could be that this person really just maybe want to secure you in life but just be mindful with this three or source out here and the uh, knight of cups and the four of pentacles i don't know honey that's giving me the iffy iffy vibe the eerie eerie vibe the icky icky heart okay 
Um, so just be mindful of this energy. I don't, I, I really don't know yet if this person has genuine intentions for you. Um, they may just see you as someone that is really, um, someone that's really genuine, loving down to earth, right? Someone that operates from their heart space and things like that. Um, but I don't know if this person has the genuine intentions for you. So you need to be mindful when this person comes into your energy, giving you some type of offer is really what I'm getting. And I'm going to be straightforward. I think someone is really coming into your life to give you an offer to extend something to you, just to have some type of connection to you, to keep you trapped. Maybe you have better offers that are meant to come to you and someone's way of blocking those offers is to give you an offer so that they can keep you stuck with them okay and someone is burdened by this you could also another uh, story i'm getting is that you could have a king of wands that's wanting to communicate with you or is communicating with you he may need your assistance or something like that um but because you're not responding he feels blocked he feels stuck He's, he may be worried as well about you. Someone is losing a lot of sleep because they want to work with you with this eight of pentacles out here. They know that you have the knowledge. They know that you have the skills. They know you have the ability to build this company with them or build this reality with them. You two are meant to be absolutely influential. He has a whole business plan and he knows that you are the one that can work with him to grow and establish this business but there's some type of blockage that's going on he may not be aware but i think this person is trying to figure it out like he knows there's something going on but he doesn't quite understand what it is that's going on that's preventing you from responding to him that's preventing you from connecting with him um he just he just he doesn't get it so he's looking into something right he's looking into it the pinch of swords has to do with you acquiring information, um, trying to understand things, seeing things from different perspectives, standing your ground, um, things like that. So he may be going through some type of betrayal or heartbreak as well. There's just something that's going on here. This masculine is trying to figure out, um, okay? There's some type of conflict going on as well behind the scenes. You know, a lot of the drama that's going on is something that's going on behind the scenes that you may not be aware of. So this person could have been trying for a really long time to get in contact with you, um, but people are like really determined to block you and this person from coming together. Oh man, I don't know. This is really crazy because the, what I'm getting is that someone wants to extend an offer to you, but it's being blocked. It's being blocked and he's feeling overwhelmed. He's feeling stressed out. He doesn't know how to go about or around the situation. It's like everything he does, he has gotten creative with how to communicate with you, how to get in contact with you. But literally every avenue he takes, there's some type of blockage and he just does not understand. Now, I want you to rest assured this offer is still secure for you. It is secure. It's not going anywhere. But it's just really frustrating for this masculine that he's having to go through all of this trouble just to make you an offer. And I think he's coming to the understanding that it's not because you're not responding or you don't want the offer. It's because there's interference. There is some type of interference going on. And both the both of you are going to overcome this these interferences, but it's going to take a lot of planning and strategy. He's going to have to be strategic on how to go about this situation, okay? Um, but whatever this opportunity is, it is absolutely something that is going to put you in an abundant energy. Um, I don't know. This is, this is like, keeping, I'm like at a loss for words because this is something that's like divinely meant for someone. This is something that's divinely meant for someone. And I keep looking at this, uh, 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 um, I keep looking at this strength in the reverse. And that's letting me know that people may be even feeling overwhelmed behind the scenes with the amount of things they've been doing to block you. Someone may be even thinking about giving up. Man, this masculine may even be like at a point where he's like just overwhelmed and tired. 
is that he's been trying to reach out and reach out and reach out, getting creative with reaching out to you, but there's some type of blockage. Like every time he sends an offer or sends a message, some type of communication, even when he tries to come towards you, there is some type of blockage. Um, but you two are going to meet. Um, I think it's important for all of this chaos to take place and be done with in order for you two to meet. But you're almost there. You're almost at the end of the road. This, yeah, this chapter is over. And maybe he doesn't know that, but you know that, or you don't know that. He knows that maybe the both of you are not aware, but this chapter is over and you two or he had to be very strategic on how to bring this chapter to an end so that you two can come together and be able to manifest this reality. Someone may be seeing you as an empress or maybe seeing you as someone that's very abundant. There is some type of divine intervention that's going on here and it's absolutely necessary. There, there could be, I don't know if this is his mother or his wife, ex-wife, mother of his child, she has been interfering with him making you this offer. And this is something that has been going on for a long time. This woman feels that she has all the money in the world to keep blocking this offer, but it doesn't matter. There's going to come to a point, it's going to come to a point where she will realize that she wasted all of her money. This woman is working with a kink of stores. She's been paying him to cause blockages. You could be with this king of swords. You could be friends with this king of swords. You could be working with this king of swords, but someone is very vain. He thinks that if he comes into your energy and pretends to be someone genuine, that he's going to be able to fool you, mislead you, manipulate you into staying into some type of staying in some type of situation that's just not healthy for you. Someone who have been interfering with your communication so that you don't receive this offer, you are going to receive it, and this is going to be your energy here coming up soon um this independent energy self-sufficiency energy um but this can cause source i wouldn't trust him if he comes in your energy there's something where he's doing he could even be working with a partner um behind the scenes a feminine energy right and the both of yeah the both of them are together They're, they work together the both of them are together this is a couple this is a couple Something I'm also getting is that this King of Wands could have trusted this King of Swords or even this Empress energy to do something for him on his behalf or to give you some type of communications. And they did not do the right thing. Instead, they interfered with this communication, possibly blocked it or maybe lied to this person and told them that you either were no longer around or you refused the opportunity, something like that. But that masculine knows the truth, right? He knows the truth. He knows there's some type of interference going on, okay? Um, you could be leaving a situation for some of you to kind of start over brand new, whether you're moving down the street, around the corner, in the next city, overseas, whatever this is. You're about to be having a lot of new, new experiences, new beginnings and things like that absolutely new beginnings and they're going to be absolutely successful with you maybe this is what that needs to happen maybe someone does need to change locations in order for them to be able to receive the communication that they need okay because there's a there is an entire institution that has committed themselves to blocking you there is a woman that has committed herself to blocking you and unfortunately she does have the resources to pay people, but she won't be able to do that for very long. This is like throwing money down the drain because at the end of the day, these two people are still going to come together, okay? So she's basically throwing her money down the drain, okay? And it's gonna get to a point where she may even experience some type of financial ending, financial loss. Yeah, the both of them actually are going to be experiencing some type of ending. There's something here where I don't know these two think that holding on to you is going to lead to some type of abundance for them it's not because of their intentions behind what they are doing so they may know that you are someone very fruitful abundant you may be someone that's like a star seed people sometimes consider star seeds to be lucky charms and things like that so they may be thinking that holding on to you is going to lead to some type of protection for them or it's going to lead to some type of blessing for them where their businesses or their whatever it is they have is going to expand maybe when these people came into contact with you they all of a sudden started experiencing some type of upgrade in life so now they think they can hold on to you 
so that they can keep experiencing that. These people are going to lose everything that they gain while you were in their presence. And this is because of their motive, their intentions behind them keeping you in their energy, whether you work for them, live with them, whatever this is, their intentions behind this. So whether you stay or you go, they're going to lose everything. So these two are a couple, this, this Empress and this King of Swords, they are absolutely a couple and they may even own businesses together, which is why this is out here. Um, and they are worried because they know that if you leave, their business is going to fall apart. So they may want to extend some type of friendship to you, gift you something, whatever this is. I would not accept an offer from these people because this is a manipulative tactic to keep you blocked with them, keep you stuck so that you're not moving forward. You're not accepting other offers from people, but no, they want to kind of blindside you with this offer that you're coming in with. This person, whoever in this relationship that wants to come in and give you this offer, Someone thinks that they can manipulate your emotions, play with your emotions. His tactic is to befriend you. She she does not care. She's more so on the stoic side. There may be a little bit of jealousy there as well because you may have spiritual gifts and things like that. You're abundant and she's not. She's just showing up here as an empress for some specific reason. But it's not because of the reasons why other empresses who are like awakened, they're nurturing and things like that. That's not, that's not why. It may be because this is how he sees her. He sees her as his empress. So that would be why she's showing up as an empress energy. But there's something very cold about this woman. Like she's very, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Someone is very like emotionless. She's very emotionless like she's she she's more mental than she's emotional but because he sees her as an empress that would be why she's showing up here as an empress this woman does not even have the skills needed to build a business maintain a business have a business and keep it thriving someone just wants to live the good life but they don't want to do the work to have the good life and i don't think neither of them do neither of these two want to do the work to actually grow a business and this will be why they may have been going through some type of ending until you came into the picture and then they started flourishing and they put two and two together and they say hey that's star seed that's the reason why we're flourishing and we have to keep a hold of them but if you all know anything about star seeds we're not meant to be blocked we're not meant to be stuck we're not meant to be kept uh captive and the moment you start to start, you start to try and keep a star seed bondage, trap captive, you're asking for nothing but chaos in your life. That means that everything you acquire because of that person being in your energy, you have squandered. That means it's going to go down the drain because you have done something you are not meant to do. You have tried to captivate, capture imprisoning an energy that you should not be tempering with you're breaking some type of spiritual law universal law that you should have never tempered with so these people stand to lose quite a lot you can see they're they're uh they're out here in the three of wands in the reverse energy meaning they're going to be losing a lot a lot of success they've interfered with your success your opportunities so they're going to be losing the very things that they took from you so if they stole opportunities from you, they stole resources from you, or they, they blocked these things from you, they are about to be losing everything that they took from you. And people don't understand this when they're interfering with these kind of energies, star seeds, light workers, and things like that. There's always, always a consequence for interfering with these kinds of energies for work movement. Um, like you don't have the authority to try to cap capture any of these kind of beings. And I don't know how else to put that, but is they trying to is they trying to control a genie? And I don't like to use that term to describe star seeds, but these kind of people, that's how they see you, like a genie, a lucky charm. So they see you as an object. They don't really see you as a person with emotions and things like that. They see you as an inanimate object. You don't have any emotions. You're just there to bless them. Some of these people may even be worshiping you behind the scenes, behind closed doors. And they know that if you knew 
they were doing things like that, you would be repulsed by it. There's something like that. Someone knows that you had the divine touch of the most high on your life. You are abundant. You are blessed. You are favored. You have the favor of the most high on your life. And they know you are extremely abundant. These will be energies that are, uh, this is how greedy these kind of people are. They will be flourishing off of your energy, but will, will know that you are living into purity in poverty and they won't care as long as their lives are doing fine they are enjoying that's all they care about so they are there to basically drain you and the universe will let them do this for an for a certain amount of time until everything you know they get comfortable in a certain lifestyle and that's what i'm getting with these two the universe has allowed them to get comfortable in some type of lifestyle they've acquired since you came around. And now it's all about to be ripped from them because they were being tested to make the right decision in some type of situation. So if they would have made you a genuine offer, if they would have been direct with you from the beginning, from the jump, this would not be happening. But because of the choice they, they made, the path that they chose, everything is about to be upside down so every pos every prospects that they were supposed to work with every offer they were supposed to receive every networking opportunity is not coming into fruition the most high is pushing these things farther and farther and farther away because neither of these people are genuine this woman is very stoic she's like she's all mental there's no emotions there's no emotions She's very cold and calculating is what I get. And he's very manipulative. He plays on your emotions to get a reaction out of you. He'll play on your emotions to connect with you just so he can manipulate you. Um, maybe they didn't take this seriously in the beginning. Uh, and it's, it was all fun and dandy when, dandy when they were blocking your opportunities and things like that. But it's not going to be funny for them anymore when they are going through all of this loss, right? And you're having a brand new beginning. Someone may even want to come in and your new beginning is secure and protected, by the way. The universe is giving you a new opportunity to start over brand new. There's nothing these people can do to block to block it. As a matter of fact, if they take any action to come into your energy to do you something, it's going to lead to an immediate loss. Someone may lose their life. Someone may lose their uh, their uh, um, mobility, their health. There's something that's going to happen because there is something malicious here where when you try to free yourself or take some type of bold step and move on with your life, Someone may want to come in to cause you some type of harm and it's not going to go like they planned. Someone is basically going to be taking actions to end themselves, okay? Someone may even want to come in to play with your emotions. I'm telling you, you're going to be moving on. You're taking the bold step to move forward with your life, stepping out on hope. You don't know what's ahead of you, some of you, but you are trusting the universe. You're trusting spirit to see you through this situation. Uh, someone may want to come in and play with your emotions, make it seem like, oh, you know, I'm so sorry that you've been going through this. Mind you, the whole time they knew what was going on. They're the cause of why you've been going through what you've been going through. But someone is very greedy. Both of these people are really just mental. And I don't really even know if they care about each other. I think these people are just binded to each other because of business. They have, they're attached through some type of business like they have a lot of businesses together or he may have started some type of business with her so they're attached together if he wants to leave he cannot leave if she wants to leave she cannot leave so they're kind of stuck with each other um so uh, honey yeah you are leaving you're leaving you have a new opportunity coming in and you may have like a soul twin or whoever you're supposed to work with that may be traveling towards you as well. Absolutely. Someone is going to be traveling and everything in here is divine intervention that's going on. Someone may take some type of a drastic or impulsive action as well that's going to lead to an ending. I'm telling you, divine intervention, a soul twin connection, twin flame connection, whatever we want to call it, is coming together. And this is something these two have been trying to block. They are not the only ones that have been doing this. There's a whole nother institution and a group of people. Think of being in like a company and the higher ups within that company are either paying people to block two people from connecting or to block someone from receiving an opportunity. 
um, there's something like that that's been going on. And then maybe you leave that company and the higher ups in the old company connect with the higher ups in the new company to do the same thing. So they are supposed to keep you stuck, make sure you're not elevating or anything because they are sapping your energy, they're benefiting from your energy, well, co well collective, whatever the enemy has gained by stealing from you, taking your energy, we are calling every bit of it back in. Everything the enemy stole from you is being taken from them. It is taken from them and it is returned to you. It is returned to me. It is returned to us. Okay. We did not get permission for them to use our energies. So we are calling back our energies. We are taking back our energies. We are calling back our blessings and we are taking back our blessings. We're calling back our power and we are taking back our powers. Okay. So whatever the enemy has stolen from you, taken from you, it is absolutely returned to you immediately. So these people, they've been living the la vita loca off of your energy, but it's the end of the road. And they knew this day was coming. They may not want, they may not have wanted to believe it, but this day was coming and it's here and your pathway is clear. Someone knows the truth about what has been going on. Whoever wants to extend this offer to you knows the truth about what has been going on and balance is being brought into the situation, okay? Yeah, they're living in fear now. They are living in fear. Someone thought they were going to come in and trick you, make it seem like you two were friends. They wanted you to see them as a friend. They wanted you to see them as being genuine. You didn't accept their offer. Like you saw right through someone. You may not have been rude to them, obnoxious to them or anything. You didn't disrespect this person. You're just going to turn your back on this person. It was like, I already know what you're, you're up to. I already know what you're doing, what your intentions are. I'm not about to play this little game with you. And you kind of maybe just walked away or just went back to your desk and just let them do whatever it is they thought they were doing. Someone is living with anxiety because you see right through them and they know the end is near. The ending is the end is here for them. So all this, you know, new cars, new clothes, new house, you know, going to parties, living the best life is over. It's over for these people. Okay. Yeah. All this working together. Yeah. It's over. I'm telling you, it's over. They're trapped. They are trapped. They've been trapping you, meaning they've been stealing opportunities from you, blocking opportunities and things like that, keeping you trapped in some type of situation. You probably didn't even know you were trapped. Like these people have been gatekeeping you, filtering your 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 uh your mail, going through your emails and text messages and things like that, and then just coming out like nothing every day, like nothing's happening, smiling in your face. And you're seeing, you don't realize you're you're looking at your enemy sitting across from across the table from your enemies. They're they're blocking your future. It's not really a blockage co uh, collect collective. What this was was a learning experience. This was a time for growth. And boy, have a lot of you grown up through these experiences. Boy, has a lot of people been exposed to you. You've gone through some type of spiritual ascension, and you're looking back. And there was a, if there was a possibility for you to do it all over again, you say, oh, H-E double hockey stick, no. You would not want to go through it again. But if you see the person you are today, you are grateful. I bet you you are. This woman is not getting wish fulfillment. Someone is blocked. She's trapped. This person that's either paying people behind the scenes or whatever it is she's been doing with her partner it's not working anymore. It's done. I don't know if she even has a lover on the side. There's something like that here. She may have some type of lover on the side. I don't know what it is, but she's trapped. She's stuck in her mind. I don't know if she has legal issues coming in. The eight of swords rarely ever have to do with someone going to jail. It typically usually has to do with someone being stuck in their mind about a situation. She doesn't know what to do. She's a bit of a brute and her, her her husband, her partner, I don't think these two are married, by the way. Her partner, he's a little bit more on the manipulative side when it comes to emotion. So she goes the mental route, the story route, and he goes the emotional route, but he's not really emotional. I don't even think these two understand what genuine emotions are. They don't understand it. 
Now they're trying to figure out how to go about coming into your energy, how to approach you so that they can keep you stuck in something. It's not happening. It's not happening. With this nine of cups out here in the reverse, they're not getting wish fulfillment. Things are not going in their favor. They're not going to be living that abundant life. The nine of cups in the upright means that you are content. You have all the financial luxuries that you want in life. You have access to so many resources, things like that. So with it in the reverse, this is letting me know that these two are no longer going to be living their life. Just like I was saying, it's the end of the road for them. No more new cars, no more new clothes, no more new houses and things like that. They may even be losing their home. There's something like that going on here and they're trapped in something they cannot get out of. Ah, honey, I said losing a home, the five of pentacles is on the bottom. They are losing a lot. I picked up on this couple two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, they're losing everything because of how they handled a star C energy. They manipulated, they deceived, they caused blockages, they interfere with your destiny or try to interfere with your destiny. They're very cold hearted. These two don't even love each other. They don't love each other. Look at the cars surrounding these people. If they have like physical interaction, it's just physical interaction. There's no love to it. This woman, there's no love to her. She's cold. This is not someone genuine. She's not showing up as modest. There's something really, I don't know if she plays like a passive role to him, but she's cold at heart. Like she's learned how to manipulate this fool here where he thinks that she's an empress and that's why she's showing up as an empress. Either she's someone's mother, someone's wife, someone's baby mama. That's why she's showing up in this energy, but someone is very cold cold this could also be there are two women in here that i'm seeing he this could be his mother him this is his partner they're in a relationship either this is his mother or this is his wife or ex-wife or the mother of his child something like that okay something like that but either way, both women are cold-hearted. Both of them. Both of these women. Someone may have told this masculine that maybe you betrayed him or something like that. And he may have taken some type of foolish action to betray you in the past. I don't know about that. I think really this masculine just there's something, there's something about this masculine where he knows that you are the one to work with. So maybe he did do something, maybe he didn't in the past, leave the past in the past and move forward, okay? But everyone has been work, working together, honey, it's not looking good for them. A lot of them are losing quite a lot. They're losing finances, all right? Their resources are in the drain because of what they committed to. Someone was paying all of these people behind the scenes to block your move, your forward movement, to block two people from coming together. And they didn't understand the price that they would have to pay. And I'm not talking about the money. It's like health, stability, resources, connections, right? They've lost a lot more than they anticipated. Someone thought they were being discreet with everything they were doing. An institution thought that they were being discreet with what they were doing. You can be as discreet as you want to be, but the Most High always sees what it is you're doing. And there will always be balance brought into a situation. It don't matter what you do in the dark, in the light, it will always be exposed. Always. What's done in the dark will always be brought into the light. So there is a business here that is falling from grace, going through some type of ending. And that is because of what? What they did to you. What they did to you. You ever been in a situation where someone's someone stole from you or they set you up and you are going fine and dandy every day with this person laughing with them sharing with them looking out for them taking care of them only for you to find out sometime later that the whole reason why you were going through what you were going through was because of the very person you've been sharing with can you imagine the heartache the disappointment, the frustration, the anger you feel when you find out that the person you've been trusting the whole time has been your enemy, sleeping with the enemy, basically. Someone here is going through that. 
a masculine thought, this king of swords, he thought that you didn't know what he was. He thought you didn't know that he was someone that plays with your plays with people's emotions. Not just you, collective. This man does this to other people. And he's so accustomed to getting away with it. He thought he was going to get away with it when it comes to you. It's not happening. Like you see right through someone. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You see right through someone. And even when they come and they're smiling, doing whatever, you still see right through them. It's like the the the, the devilish face is just there. It don't matter what mask they put on. All you see is the, the face of the devil on that person. So they can smile all they want. They can sound, you know, the devil comes with, with a soft spoken voice. They can speak all soft as they want. You still know exactly what it is you're looking at. You know what it is. You know what it is. Okay. Someone thought they has this, they had uh like dismantle you as far as taking your power away. Someone thought they had control over you. And they're finding out, oh, I never had control over this person. No, you idiot. That's a whole star scene you are coming after. That's a whole star scene you're coming after. Someone that has the authority to make judgment in your life. Are you dumb? That's not an energy you want to piss off. That's a big gamble to take. And that's what they took. You don't want to piss that kind of energy off because any judgment they make is coming into fruition. You know why? Because of their ranking in the spirit realm. The work they've done to get to where they are. Who they are. And you this you you juggle your future, you juggle your life by gambling with oh my lord. Someone did some type of gambling and it didn't go in their favor. It didn't go in their favor. It didn't go in any of their favors. Okay? Nah. It didn't go in their favor. Someone may want to now come and speak the truth to you because they're going through some type of ending. And they want to balance things out. They say, oh, man, I'm go this is too much for me to handle. Someone didn't understand how bad something would get. And it's too much for them. They're not able to go out and buy mocha frappes anymore, buy all the drinks they want, buy the latest uh, technology and things like that, rubbing it in your faces and things. Meanwhile, you know, they're out here with uh, Apple laptop. Apple Watch, Apple iPhone, all kinds of Apple products. Meanwhile, you you have a freaking uh uh, uh what is it Motorola collective, a phone they don't even make no more. And the whole time you don't know this person is getting all of this stuff because of what they're blocking you. They're benefiting off of you being in like living in filth, living in poverty. People are wicked. People are wicked, heartless. And you never, you should never in your life try to sympathize with these kind of people. Their heart spaces are deactivated. They don't have a heart. They don't have a heart. The only reason they get in your connections a lot of the time and it lasts is because what? One, the person they are with is just as wicked as they are, or even worse. Or two, the person they're with is passive. So they let them do whatever they want to do. That is the two main reasons you'll ever see a dark worker in a relationship. Because they have someone just like them or worse. Or whoever they are with is passive and they just let them do whatever they want. So now someone wants to come and clarify things with you. Bring the truth to your attention. Okay? About a queen of wands, honey, the, the towers, the towers, the towers. They want to come now and tell you the truth about an opportunity that you were giving. You were offered a whole long time ago. But guess what? They all pitched in to block their offer, to block the communications. And now that they're all going through endings, what? He wants to come in to mend things. He's lost too much. He's lost way more than he wanted to lose. He said, I can't keep going at this rate. My bank account is declining every day. Nah, I can't do this. I got to fix it. So people, someone may pop up in your energy. 
trying to tell you the truth, confess is true confession. You remember in Matilda, I don't know if you all have ever watched it. That's one of my favorite childhood movies. True confession. It's time for confession. And the only reason someone is coming in to tell you the truth is because they're going some, through some type of loss that they cannot handle. Can you imagine some of you are, have been living in poverty, not knowing that you have this amazing opportunity out there? Some of you have uh, 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 things that were left to you by dying people or people that are gone. You have blessings just sitting there and you don't know about it because people are so wicked. They've blocked it. So every one of them are losing everything. I'm telling you, there's an institution going through an ending. There are There's a couple going through an ending. Anyone that partook in this shenanigans, in your blockage, keeping you stuck, lying to you, deceiving people about you, they're going through an ending. If people didn't believe in God before, they're about to believe in God now. They're like, who in the world is this person serving? We need to find out. Uh -huh. We need to find out and connect to them. Because there's no way this person should be uh, triumphing over us. There is no way this person should still be receiving this opportunity. We did everything to block this person from receiving it. How are they still receiving it? It don't make no sense, collective. It does not make no sense. Taking all these actions just to end your own future, thinking you're ending someone's future. This is what people do to staff and light workers' energy. Is that we'll keep we'll keep them moderately happy. You know, just laugh with them. If they ask for something, just give it to them. But that's about as far as it go. Meanwhile, they're getting thousands of thousands of dollars of checks behind uh checks worth thousands of dollars behind the scenes someone may have gotten a check for three hundred thousand dollars i've been seeing that number quite a lot someone may have gotten a check for a million dollars someone for twenty thousand fifty thousand forty thousand and they're living well some of these people came into this money right when you got into their lives because you're in, because your enemies left the previous locations to come talk to them all of a sudden they can afford a lifestyle they were never able to afford and now it's about to be ripped from this hey remember do you remember the old days the olden days yeah they're back you were being tested and you feel miserably you let material things get to your head you're out here saying you are a higher fence not living as a higher fence you say you're an emperor and you're greedy as heck emperors don't move that way you say you're a king of cups and there's nothing loving about you. You're a business owner, a king of wands. You don't even know how to manage a business. It's something like that going on. Everybody is about to be undone. Undone. The tower is a sudden change, sudden revelation. And this is something that we're not expecting. So this is like a sudden action by the most high. It's a, uh-uh, we're done. We're done here. <clears throat> they're living in fear they, they know what's coming someone is anticipating the ending don't worry it's here you don't have to anticipate it it's here i'm telling you it's here and this person is arriving where they're supposed to be they're gonna get what they're supposed to get if someone was having to wait now to give you an offer they're not waiting anymore they're taking actions to come in this is sad and pathetic. I'm telling you, divine intervention. Everything they're experiencing is divine intervention. Your ancestors are playing Russian roulette with people behind the scenes. Wrecking balls are being thrown into the lives of these people. You can't catch a wrecking ball and throw it back, can you? No. So the wrecking ball, when it's thrown into their lives, it lands exactly where your ancestors wanted to land. Oops, did it learn in your business? Oh, oops, did it land in your marriage? Are you two separating? Oops, did it land in your relationship of 15 years, seven years, six years? Are you two breaking up? Oops, 
Did it land in your health? Oh, you're sick now? Oh. We're really trying to care. Your ancestors are trying to care. They don't. They don't care. Because these people didn't care when they were doing this to you. They didn't care one bit. Told you. You are receiving what's yours. You get to move on with your life and connect with who you're supposed to connect with. Okay? So whatever these people have been doing, it was an absolute waste of time. I'm glad some of them, this institution that was blocking you or this woman that was blocking you, well, we are glad you were able to pay these people, give them an experience they probably would have never had. If you didn't go taking money out of your pocket, out of your bank account to give it to them, they would have never been able to experience that La Vita Loca that you gave to them. You know, you, you're out here giving people money, $15,000, $10,000, $5,000, just to block two people from coming together. And guess what, honey? They're still coming together. They are still coming together. Okay? Absolutely still coming together. It, the relationship, these two coming together, is an offer from the Most High for the both of them. This is something the Most High is gifting to these two. Is that, hey, you there, I'm gifting her to you. This is your blessing. She'll understand you. You there, I'm giving him to you as a blessing. He'll understand you. You two will resonate on the same frequency or you resonate on the free, same frequency. You two are going to be extremely abundant together. You have work to do together. It's time. So whoever was paying people behind the scenes, again, thank you for giving these people a glance at a lifestyle uh -huh, that they would have never had if it was not for you. There's a couple in here as well that have been paying people to hush their mouths. And they're about to wish they never did that because they're losing everything. You're going to have to start over. When this star seed leaves, your businesses are falling apart because of what you did. And you have no one to blame but yourself. No one to blame. Someone in here refuses to heal. They look at people that heal or are trying to heal as beneath them. They say, stupid person, who cares about healing? What is healing? They don't care. You're about to find out why you need to be healed. And you're going to find it out in the most humbling way. Because when you fall down to how far down you're about to fall, oh, honey, you will be praying to be in the energy of that healed person. Praying. You've trapped yourself. Someone's mother, wife, whoever this is. Oh, honey. This woman is losing her mind all she knows how to do is pay people to cause blockages to get what she wants that's all she does and she does not understand how you've been able to manifest this new beginning with everything she's done behind the scenes she don't understand it every single person this woman got involved this institution got involved they are going through an ending every single one of them okay so let's go ahead and do our angels numbers we have four of them today we have 44 the number of protection four is the number of protection right um your guardian angels angelic presence being around you to protect you and things like that listen to this it said your angels okay angelic presence your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future i am supported two coming together divine unions all right success in business and things like that you have a keen awareness of what is happening around you a strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others this insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter i am intuitive 24 6 moving on sailing on the sailing on to calmer waters healing recovering transitioning um spiritually or even physically and things like that you have a heart of gold and are very skilled in at maintaining balance stable relationships you are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer protector and provider at all or at once 
I am generous. 666, Lord have mercy. <laughs> 66189 completion. Um, a wake up call for you to be to re examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. I am centered. Okay, thank you so much for watching, folks. I will see you in my next read and goodbye for now.